So you want that chiseled inner chest line, huh? Well, then you came to the right place because today I'm going to show you exactly how to achieve that pretty damn fast. Some of you may think that there's a separate inner chest muscle and the fact is that that's not true because your pec muscles actually run horizontally across your full chest. So unfortunately, we can't contract only your inner chest. Oh boo hoo, you're gonna grow your other chest along with your inner chest. Not a bad problem to have. However, there are certain exercises you can do to put more tension on that inner chest and get more growth than other normal exercises that you see other people doing in the gym. So today I'm gonna to give you the three best inner chest exercises. If you like what you see here, I'd really appreciate it if you pull out your phone and follow me on Instagram at Brett MVRK. I put a lot of really cool stuff on there you won't find anywhere else. Without further ado, let's get right into number one. First off is the cross body cable press. You've probably seen people doing this exercise on the standard press machine, but we're gonna do it on a cable machine just because you get a little more range of motion and you have constant pressure. There's no resting in between repetitions. So how you do this is you set a normal handle at about nipple level, and then you choose a moderate to heavy weight. Then you stand perpendicularly to the machine with your feet about shoulder width apart. Then take the handle and press it across your body until your elbow is almost fully extended. Let the weight pull your hand all the way back, giving a full stretch across your pectoralis muscles. This will pull those muscle fibers apart, allowing full blood flow. This is a great exercise because since you're only doing one pec at a time, you can Focus fully on that muscle and get full contraction. And with the angle of this movement combined with the extension movement across your body, it puts perfect, complete tension on that inner chest, making those muscle fibers break apart so they can grow back bigger and stronger. And the pectoralis is a pretty resilient muscle, so you can go pretty heavy with this. So I recommend doing four sets of eight to 12 repetitions, all the way up, all the way down. Now the next one, I wanted to share one with you that you can do anywhere and you don't even need any weights for it. And that is medicine ball push-ups. How you do this is you get in a push-up position with a medicine ball directly under your chest. Then you put your hands on on the ball with your thumbs on the top and your other fingers wrapping around the sides. Then it's pretty simple, you just do push-ups. But the trick is, and it's important not to forget this part, is to squeeze the ball the whole time, all the way up and all the way down. This will overload that inner chest by combining the activation of an extension movement with the tension of an adduction movement, you know, going across the body, so with that squeezing motion. The combination of these two movements will help you achieve hypertrophy, which will overload that muscle, forcing it to grow as much as fully possible. This is a great exercise to do just on its own, but it's also a great finisher. You can do it after, you know, the cross body cable extensions, or any other chest exercise and it differs for every person everybody has different strength levels so I recommend three sets to failure doing as many as you can if done right you'll definitely feel the burn and get an insane pump I promise you that all right and that brings us to number three and my personal favorite that is dumbbell hex press this is great because it uses dumbbells so it gives you a little different feel from the body weight press on the medicine ball as well as the cable extensions because you're holding actual weights. So to do this, you set a bench at the 150 degree angle and then grab two moderate weight dumbbells to start with. Then pin the dumbbells together with a slight bend in your elbows, almost like you're wrapping your arms around a tree. Then squeeze your palms together as you press the dumbbells up and then down back to your chest. You wanna go nice and slow, pausing at the top for a second and then going nice and slow back down to touch your chest. And with the combination of the extension movement upwards along with that squeezing motion inversely across your chest, you can really exhaust those inner muscle fibers, making them break apart so they build back bigger and stronger. And since we're using dumbbells, we're holding them in our hand, there's constant tension on our chest. We're not setting them down or re-racking the weight at all. That's why I love this exercise so much. So far, this is the exercise that I've found that creates the most compression of those muscle fibers and achieves the best pump. So I definitely recommend you guys integrate this in your workout too. And we wanna reach hypertrophy so we can use moderate to heavy weight. So I recommend four sets of eight to 12 repetitions 
starting with a moderate weight, getting a little bit heavier with each set that we go. Now guys, I'm not a medical professional. I'm not athlete X. I'm just a dude who spent a lot of time in the gym around fitness gurus and bodybuilders and found some ways that will help me build what I think is a pretty good physique and can help you guys too. So I definitely recommend you guys trying these out in your next chest workout. If you haven't already, please subscribe, turn those post notifications on, and until next time, peace.